Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, that was... <laughs> wow, I have another raider. Or someone just played Screamo. Yeah, I think that's what happened. I think I have another raid, though. Um, <laughs> Andy Attack 2018, thank you for the raid. And this and Slayer music. Thanks for playing Screamo. Um, hey, welcome to a special edition, I suppose. Um, I kind of wanted to talk about uh, what another thing that what uh, Powell said. Um, I love how these people sit there and when they're in these kind of positions, they blame everybody else except for what they're doing. Politicians do it every day. They sit there and they try to play like the you know, the voters like fools, like idiots. You know, they downplay everything and they hyper everything that's not that's not really all that important. You know that sort of thing. Uh, for a long time, it was national debt. But, you know, like uh, the uh, barn from China and other bullshit like that. When in reality, we're, we can't borrow our own money from another fucking country. They would have to have our, our money in as reserves so that they can do trade with us. In reality, we do more trade with them than any country in the world that I know about. They're, the reason why there's a trade deficit is because they produce so much of our shit. They produce so much of what we use here in this country because after, I'm not saying this is the cause of it, but after Glass-Steagall was uh, repealed and the, and the biggest American sellout Bill Clinton signed it and signed it into law that glass stick was no more, and they implemented something with like dolphin teeth, you know, very small, not as sharp. There's only two that I can think of anyway. But after that, every single plant moved, let, uh, laid off uh, ninety percent of their workforce. Because they knew now they can move overseas and they can, uh, they could, um, you know, produce their product, produce uh, uh, pr production for a lot less cost and still sell it to us at a higher uh, price. They could do this. And that's what they did. If you notice, uh, there used to be like, sodas, chips, and stuff of that nature that was made both here and in other countries. It was kind of like, it was their way of kind of sharing the wealth amongst other cultures. But they've cut that out and they only make our shit outside of the country. If they hadn't done that, they wouldn't have forced, they wouldn't have forced a lot of people from uh, leaving industrial towns, uh, collapsing a lot of industrial economies, bringing in Walmart, which, you know, since they are the only uh, economic game in those towns, they, they dominate the wages, they dominate the production of goods and services in that, in that town, and they get, they get tax incentives. They get, you know, um, tax incentives based on how many people they hire, uh, and given that state's minimum wage is at below poverty levels. This is not only for white Americans, Latino Americans, Black Americans, pretty much anybody that is a commercial uh, consumer, and anybody who works for their country, uh, for, for their country, excuse me, works for their company. This is why with Steve Grumbine 
of real progressives a couple of days ago on status quo said that things like modern monetary theory would be the most important subject you can you can learn he was not lying he was being very serious i'm being very serious because modern monetary theory quite literally is the lens that you look at what the economy is like what the corporations are doing this is actual it gives you the way to look at things learn those things and learn how to take that power back that's what modern monetary theory does and we're actually very lucky to a certain degree because someone like warren mosler who hedge fund guy wall street guy but he's the only person who uh, is was willing to put out a blueprint for how people can learn how to do stuff that's actually going to help you learn what the economy and how it actually runs. He brought he was one of the people that brought that out. Bill Mitchell of Australia did the same thing. L. Randall Ray did the same thing. Uh, Stephanie Kelton did the same thing and she was one of Warren Moses critics in the beginning read a the uh, and she she wrote a thesis while she uh, uh, while she was in college trying to debunk trying to find flaws in what modern what Warren Moses was saying but could not find flaws that's why she joined up with him because she saw that everything that he was saying was absolutely fucking true same thing with someone like Mike Norman, who also works on Wall Street in trade in the uh, in the uh, foreign exchange and stuff of that nature. He's worked on the same thing. He's done the same thing. So, all these people that I've mentioned, yes, they've made lots of money doing this, but that means that they also showed you how to fucking do it in the first place, how to understand it. People like the Peter Schiff's who keeps saying that the, the dollars will go bankrupt. He said he has been saying that for that for 40 years. He's been saying that uh, gold is going to go up. It goes up anyway. It goes up in value. It's a hedge. You know, it's, it, it's something that people can uh, once think, you know, once the once the, once their stock starts to tink a little bit, they can sell the stock and and put that put that money into uh, the gold to hedge, the hedge for losses. I mean, that's, these people are showing you how the, the economy works, how the monetary system is working. They're showing you this. Real progressives, they are an organization I'm very proud of being a part of. They combine MMT with progressive issues. Showing you that we can have Medicare for all, showing you that we can have a 40 or 50 or however much we actually need as a livable wage, the benefits that we need as a country and as a people. They're showing you the ins and outs of not only progressives uh, who are not in office, the real progressives, but the policies that they need to fight for, the policies we all need to fight for jobs guarantee program that would set the uh the wages above what the current market or labor market says all this stuff can be happened can happen we all need to just learn modern monetary theory literally i'm not being facetious i'm not being a smart ass I'm not, I'm not even being fake in the, in, the, in the smallest of ways. Every single time I have a debate online, I come out on top every time using fundamentals of modern monetary theory. Financially, that is. You know, stuff of that nature. So think about that for a second. Look up realprogressive.org. Sign up as a, as a volunteer, a one-time one payment, whatever the case may be. Uh, I've I've done live streams on their Facebook on their Facebook page uh, of uh, trans rallies, trans protests. This is trans trans people protesting something, rallying for something, that sort of thing. Look that up. This is literally the only progressive 
Now I'm a socialist. Socialist by policies only, not, not by party. This is the only uh, organization that puts their, puts their money where their mouth is on everything. You name it, they try their best to do it. Anyway, so again, go to realprogressives.org, check them out on Twitter, check them out on, on YouTube, Real Progressives of Action, uh, Luke Parker uh, Show, uh, uh, I was let's get ready to grumble on, on, uh, status, on status quo, uh, stay grumbling with, uh, with um, uh, oh, quite a few shows actually, uh, let's, get ready to, uh, let's get ready to grumble, uh, oh shoot. I'm kind of I'm kind of missing the point on this. Uh, anyways, just look up Steve Grumbine on, on YouTube. Uh, shoot, I'm, I'm actually forgetting uh, the, the other show he does. Um, oh. the, uh, the Rogue Scholar. That's what it is. He does the Rogue Scholar. I, I remember it anyway. Check them all out. For your own sake, learn the modern monetary theory. Become a part of realprogressives.org or Real Progressive as an organization. Thank you. Peace out. I'll talk to you tomorrow. North Korea has that. 32 out of 33 modern industrialized countries have that. How are you going to pay for it? We're going to be like North Korea. We'll have to borrow the money from China. Where are you going to find the money?